at this point, we have all heard of MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. This is something that was developed by Anthropic and it's an open standard enabling AI systems to connect with external tools and real-time data sources. Now, the reason why many love it is because of its ability to simplify AI integration by providing this standardized open source framework that connects an AI model to a diverse range of tools and data sources, which is reducing the need for custom connectors and enhancing interoperability. Essentially, it is enhancing the capability of your AI with additional tools and plugins. For example, you can see within this demo how an MCP integrates Apple tools with VS Code, letting an AI agent read emails, create reminders, edit code, and send updates, which is automating admin tasks without leaving your dev environment with the help of an MCP server. Now, the only issue is the current model context ecosystem is powerful, but it is fragmented and difficult to use. If you ask a regular developer who is starting off with MCPs, they will struggle to discover trustworthy MCP servers, often relying on scattered blog posts or community lists like my channel, for example. And setting up these tools is kind of complex and it requires manual repo cloning, conflicting dependencies, and self-hosting non-containerized services. And this is going to make the probability of getting an MCP with a virus or any sort of untrustworthiness to be more higher than usual. This is why security is another major concern with MCPs because many tools run with unrestricted host access and pass credentials in plain text, which is gonna expose sensitive data like your code base. On top of that, enterprise teams lack essentials like policy enforcement or audit logs, which is gonna make it super hard for MCP adoption at scale. But that's why today I'm gonna be showcasing a new MCP toolkit by Docker that can 100x your coding efficiency by eliminating the time consuming overhead of configuring MCPs, securing them, and connecting AI agents to external tools. Instead of manually setting up your MCP server, managing dependencies, or wiring credentials, you can launch verified containerized MCP servers with a single click using Docker Desktop. This is where I'm also going to be showcasing the best MCPs that will help you for better code efficiency and code generation. I'm also going to showcase how you can install this built-in Docker MCP CLI that lets you instantly discover tools, manage secrets, enforce access policies, and connect clients like Claude or VS Code or Cursor all in one single interface. This means less time on DevOps and more time on coding. Beyond productivity, it is going to improve security with container isolation and OAuth collaboration. And with standardized environments, you have scalability by plugging into Docker's trusted infrastructure. So whether you're building an AI agent or automating workflows or just managing enterprise tools, this MCP toolkit is going to be game changing as to how you work and code. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. This is Docker's curated MCP server list. This is essentially where there's a collection of 100 plus secure high quality MCP servers that you can easily and readily install. And I'm gonna showcase how this is gonna 100X your code productivity. And it's not only gonna improve your efficiency, it is also gonna make sure that your code is safe and sound. We'll also take a look at a couple of MCPs that is gonna 100X your code efficiency and improve any sort of workflow that you have. To get started, you're obviously gonna to need to have Docker Desktop, so make sure you install it for your operating system. It's super simple. You can easily install it for your operating system with a one-click installer. Once you have Docker Desktop opened up, what you want to do first is head over to the extensions. This is where you want to go and search up Docker MCP and you want to search up the toolkit and you want to install this. This is where we're going to install this toolkit, which is the powerful suite of tools and services that make MCP servers run secure, seamless and instantly usable. And once it has been installed, you're going to be then able to access the toolkits of different MCPs. Like I said, Docker provides a catalog of different MCPs where you have 100 plus verified tools and you can easily access it within Docker's 
own MCP toolkit extension. So this is where you can access something like MongoDB MCP. You have something like uh, GitHub, and this is essentially where you can easily enable your workflow to be automated and process these different data sources easier with AI. Now within the Docker MCP toolkit, you also have the ability to connect Dockerized MCP servers to your favorite MCP client. So you can use this safe way to use MCPs as well as an easy way to find them and install them with a one-click install and connect it to whatever client like uh, Cloud Desktop, Cursor, Continue Dev, or even Gordon. So now that we know what this MCP toolkit is, let us showcase a demo of how you can set all of this up. So for example, we all know that we can easily get these different MCPs from this catalog. But say if we want to get something like a GitHub MCP to, so that our AI has a data source to connect to GitHub repositories easily, we can easily go over to this GitHub official MCP, provide our secrets, our actual access token, and then you're going to be able to access all of these tools so your AI will be able to pull requests get tags and a lot more. So now what we can just do is simply enable this once we have provided and validated our key, and then we can simply enable it. And now we can close this and we can see that we now have our GitHub MCP enabled and fully functional. So now that we have it ready, we can easily deploy it within our client. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to something like Cursor. To do this, it's super simple. Just simply click on connect and you can see it has already been connected. Now within Cursor, you will automatically see that this MCP has been configured and fully working right now within the host, within that self-contained environment that Docker had established itself. And you can also see this within the Cursor settings, within the MCP tag, all of our MCP Docker GitHub tools are functioning, the ones that we saw and the ones that will enable AI to take actions on GitHub. So to test this out, we're going to simply use this MCP to create a random repository and you can see how easy it is right away. You can see it is uh, using the MCP tool that we had actually created or not created, but initialized with Docker's MCP toolkit and it will then execute this task of creating a test MCP repo. So right away, it has actually created the MCP uh, repo. So let's go over to GitHub and take a look. There we go. We have our test MCP repo now fully available on GitHub. And this was fully created from my client cursor. And this was all thanks to Docker helping us with this whole process of setting up the MCP. So, so far we know that MCPs are great. We have this catalog that we can easily install these MCPs with and then easily and readily have Docker install the MCPs within our clients, which we saw. But now what are some different MCPs that we can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis? I guess GitHub is a decent one that can help you solve different pull requests. But one really amazing one is Context7. Now, I've already made a full video on this, which talks about this, but essentially it is an MCP server that's going to keep your code documentation up to date for your large language models to access. Because we all know each large language model has a cutoff, a knowledge cutoff. So it's not always up to date in terms of the knowledge it has. So it can't refer to the latest updates for any sort of documentation. And this Context7 MCP actually helps you in this case. So this is one MCP that I highly recommend that you have from having your large language model not spend too many tokens on searching unrelevant documents that don't really matter. Another helpful MCP that will help you out for your coding task is Desktop Commander. This is where it's going to be able to search, update, manage files, and run terminal commands with AI. And it does it a bit better than the AI agents do because it's able to keep context awareness of your overall code base and make the necessary changes across of it. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And like I said, guys, it is easy as just simply enabling it and then having it easily connected within your client like Cursor. And there's going to be more clients added and you can even connect the MCP client to the same server by specifically following this actual command. So you can even use it in something like VS Code and have it connected to something like client. So that is essentially how you can access these ready-made 
MCPs super easily with the click of a button and then easily having it connected to your MCP client while being super safe and containerized so that there's no data leak, completely safe, and you can easily access it right away. But that's essentially it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. This is this new toolkit that will essentially help you out. There's a couple of documentations on it, so I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on the newsletter. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Share positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.